First Five established the Help Me Grow phone line to have families have a one-stop resource where they could call and get information on questions they may have. So there's a lot of information out there and everybody has opinions and advice as to where to go, what to do, and we are here to be that one support to these families. When my son was about a year old, I was starting to get a little concerned and frustrated by his lack of words, so I decided to give the Help Me Grow phone line a call. It was great to talk to somebody who really had a lot of knowledge and who really seemed to care about my kid and about me as a parent. And it was all free. I enjoy helping families. When somebody calls in, I can definitely relate to them. I've been the parent on the other end, so it's kind of my payback, if you will. You're always comparing your kid to other kids, even if you don't want to especially if you don't have any experience with babies and toddlers. I think that could be really tough to, to, to just always worry that as a parent, are you doing enough to make sure your kid is developing right? When you go to your checkups with a pediatrician, there just isn't time in a 15 minute appointment to really talk about that stuff that you feel is maybe sort of in a gray area. One in four children under the age of six are at risk for developmental delays, and most of the time these issues go unnoticed. And so we are here to support these families in making sure that they are able to address their concerns and access early intervention services so that these children are ready for kindergarten. Help Me Grow is staffed by four child development care coordinators. There are three of us that are bilingual Spanish-English and one that is trilingual Mandarin, Cantonese, and English. I think the most important thing I would want parents to know is that no question is too big or too small. You know if they're looking for a resource. Those can be entitlement services, the regional centers or the school districts. We help families connect to developmental playgroups, any community resource that could benefit the family as a whole. There are a lot of resources out there that families don't even know exist. If I have a question, I can just call and it's fine. I don't have to make an appointment. It's not a big deal. I can just call the same person I talked to before and just say, this is where he is now. The professional that I spoke to, she seemed to really have an excellent understanding of where Silas fit in in the normal range of verbal development. And what was really great is that she was able to tell me some simple ways that I could help support him, ideas for activities and little games that would help him develop his communication skills. Since I've started doing some of the activities, it's amazing to see how much his vocabulary is growing and how his communication has improved. Feeling that you're giving back and feeling that this family has been helped in, to some degree in getting resources is beyond rewarding.